Hello friends, it's Mrs. Matson with today's Read Aloud. Today we're going to read the second half of the Josephina story quilt. And in the story last week, we found out that Faith and her family were moving out west to California. And of course they have to make some decisions about things they can fit on the covered wagon and things that they can't bring with them. Um, and Faith really wants to bring her pet hen Josephina, but her first her pa says no, because there's not a lot of room. But she begs and begs, and finally, Josephine is allowed to come. However, along the way, she made some trouble. There was a barking dog, um, and Josephine got a, um, scared and ended up almost causing a stampede in the story. And Pa said, one more problem like this, and out Josephine goes. And so that's where we are today. So this chapter is called The Rescue. For a long time, Josephina was good. She quietly watched Faith sew patches on for a quilt. She didn't make a sound. When hail beat down on the roof or when the spring went, rains blew in and soaked her feathers. She just made a little cluck when the coyotes howled at night. There she is. But how Josephina fussed when they crossed rivers. One day they came to a wide, muddy river. Josephina made so much noise that Faith had to take her out of her cage. She held her close. It's all right, Faith crooned. There she is comforting Josephina as they cross the river. Pa was driving the oxen into the river when squoosh, a back wheel sank into a hole. Faith let go of Josephina. Josephina. Josephina fell into the river. A current carried her away. Oh my goodness. Crossing the river was very dangerous in a covered way. Help, cried Faith. Save Josephina. Adam, her brother, jumped into the river, but the current was too strong. It took three men to get them out. That does it. Pa shouted. She's too old to lay eggs. She's too tough to eat. And she falls into rivers. Out she goes. And so there is Adam almost getting hurt in the water trying to save Josephina. Just then, Josephina ruffled her feathers and let out a proud cackle and laid a beautiful big white egg. By thunder, cried Pa. She has begun to lay eggs again. Wonderful, said Ma. Now we shall have fresh eggs. So Josephina stayed. Faith found a white scrap for the egg patch for her quilt. The next chapter is called Robbers. Spring turned into summer. The desert was hot and dry. Faith counted her patches. Now she had 15. It was time to sew one about the desert. But one bad thing came after another. Wagon wheels kept falling off. There wasn't enough food for the animals. Three oxen died. Pa had to throw out his heavy tools and Ma's black iron stove. Two old people died. They were buried along the side of the trail. Nobody laughed or sang or smiled anymore. Faith was always hungry. But she walked on and on. She looked for grains or seeds for Josephina. It was worse in the hills. The trail was rocky and steep. One morning, Indians came to trade buffalo meat and water. They wanted Ma's quilts. Never, cried Ma. I would rather starve. They, then they wanted Josephina. Never, cried Faith. I would rather die. So there they are. So Pa traded extra clothes, food, and water. Everyone felt better. After a good meal, soon the food was gone. But if those people come back, Faith told Pa, we must, what are we going to do? Pa told Faith, we must trade Josephina for the water. Faith prayed hard that they would never return. There they are. Got some food now. That night was bitter cold. Men slept under the wagons. Ma gave the quilts to Pa and Adam. She and Faith bundled in old blankets. 
About midnight, two robbers crept into camp. They sneaked into the wagon. Then they reached for the quilts. Josephina heard them. Cackle, 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 she, she squawked. There they are, sneaking in. Everyone woke up. The robbers ran away. Pa laughed for the first time in days. Josephina may be old, he said, but she's a humdinger of a watchdog. And there she is. The next chapter is called Goodbye, Josephina. Pa reached for the cage to thank Josephina, but the poor old hen was lying on the cage floor. Faith hit her face against Ma. You must be brave, Ma said softly. Josephina lived a good long life. You can be proud of her. Pa added, she died helping us, said Adam. Faith did not feel any better. She cried and cried. Ma hugged her for a long time. The next, the next morning, they had a funeral for Josephina. Faith wrapped her in the prettiest scrap of cloth, and Adam buried her under a tall pine tree. Now, what do you think they might do to remember Josephina? Let's see. I miss her so, Faith said between sobs. At last, Faith dried her eyes and reached for the rag bag. What do you think she's going to do? I will sew a pine tree patch for Josephina, she said. Soon the wagon train found food and water. When they reached California, Faith finished her patches. And there's the new patch for Josephina. It reminds them of a place where they buried her. Pa built a quilting frame in their new cabin. The family helped Faith stitch the patches together into a quilt. The quilt covered Faith's bed every day. The patches helped them remember the good times and the bad times they had on the wagon train. And that's what a quilting frame looks like. They're quilting the top of the quilt to the bottom. And every night, Faith felt warm and happy under the Josephina story quilt. That's how it ends. And then there's an author's note. It says, in the mid-1800s, thousands of pioneers traveled west in covered wagons to find a better life. They usually began their journeys in spring from frontier towns in Missouri. Families joined together to form wagon trains so they could protect and help each other. The trip to California took about six months. Each wagon was loaded down with food, cooking pots, tools, clothes, and furniture. It took five or six pairs of strong oxen to pull one. The families traveled 12 to 15 miles each day across dangerous rivers, hot deserts, and steep rocky trails. So those pioneers were pretty brave, weren't they? Hope you enjoyed the story, Josephina's Story Quilt. See you next time. Bye.